Hi, hey everybody, Rich Drew back with another technical trail challenge. It's been a long time since we did one of these and I'm really excited because this is the first one here in Arkansas. We are at Mount Fitzgerald in Springdale. We are at a really cool trail system. We're at a spot called 1857. This trail challenge is gonna be really fun because Standing to my left and right are two very capable riders that not only are going to show you how it's done, but they're gonna dissect each element of it. So on my left, you probably recognize big brother Rob Drew, factory pivot rider, two-time BME Masters champion, and one of very few people who have cleaned the waterfall at South Mountain. Now, got to my right, absolute ripper, Jason Blodgett, former UCI level cross-country competitor an absolute enduro slayer. But on top of that, what's really cool is this guy is a technical specialist at SRAM. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna give some input on how the suspension is very critical to making it up this lift. So as we've done in the past, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you what this challenge looks like. We're gonna break it down. We're gonna dissect each piece. After that, we're gonna give it a run. Now, I'll let you in on a little secret. Rob and I have both done this yesterday, but this guy right here, he hasn't done it yet. So what's gonna be really cool is, we're gonna to get to talk through it, you're gonna see inside his mind at what his line looks like and what his rationale is. We're gonna see, can he get it on the first try? Is it gonna take him two, maybe three times? I don't know. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's get into it. The challenge starts with this first lift. It's not very sheer, but you're already climbing. So you wanna get light as you clear this. There's some moss on the rock, so you wanna make sure, not, try not to lay down too much power and get your wheel spinning. Once you get onto this platform of rocks, you've got a few choices of lines. You can go to the right on the more stacked rocks, or you can stay to the left where there's a little bit more undulation. Either way, you wanna carry as much speed as you can and avoid the wheel traps. Once you get past this section, either way you choose, you've got this last lift, which is actually also the steepest part of the climb. Add the fact that there's some moss on the rocks and it can create some treachery. So if you're clipped in, you wanna be sure you've got the ability to get your feet out quick in case you don't make it. Once you get to this point, if you've still got some momentum, give it that last push Lift, shift, and pull up on here, and you're home free. Okay, so that covers the elements of the challenge itself, but the next question you have to ask yourself is, is your setup right? So for me, I'm running the Firebird, which is 29. I'm running Cush Core in my tires, which allows me to run a lot lower pressure safely without risking a flat. Rich is riding the 5.5, so our gear choice is different because of the wheel size. So I'm hitting this obstacle in third gear from beginning to end with great success. Rich is doing it in fourth. Depending on the bike you're riding, you might have to make adjustments. And that's where what we talk about nuance be comes into play because the difference between success and failure on an obstacle like this could likely be something you don't even see. In regard to suspension setup, a lot of people ask me, do I lock out my suspension when I'm climbing? And my answer is absolutely not. I like to leave my suspension open. I like my rebound fast. And technical climbs like this are the reason why. I like to be able to use my body weight to load the bike, to build traction, and rebound to get light and lift up lifts like this. I find great success using it that way. If you've, had, if you've not tried it, you might want to give it a try and see how it works for you. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little peek at it, and show you what my line choice is, and kind of talk you through. So again, this is the starting point. I like to attack this obstacle in third gear, so let's see how it goes. I like to stay to the right. The last lift is certainly the most challenging part of the climb, so you wanna make sure you're prepared for it when you do. Watch for the wheel traps after the top and you're home free. All right, now let's have a look at Jason's line choice and see the way he decides to attack this obstacle. Enters in the middle, right up the middle. Good drive up that last lift. All right, so now Rich is gonna take a shot at it. Now keep in mind, Jason and I were both running 29 inch wheels. Rich is on the 5.5, which although it's a tremendous bike, it presents a different set of challenges. Rich's gonna come after it, fourth gear. 
and boom, smooth as silk right up there. All right, so there we go, another technical trail challenge in the books, first one in Arkansas, and I would argue the coolest one by far, probably because of the special guests. So either way, I'm fired up, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys get out here to Mount Fitzgerald, get on 1857, set a camera up, or have a friend come out and record you taking a crack at this, because if you're a follower of these videos, you know, if you come out and you clean this thing, yeah, there's something waiting for you. Uh, the Technical Trail Challenge today is brought to you by MRP. So if you master this, I'm gonna hook you up with an MRP bash guard. So again, start from the bottom, clean it to the top, get some good video. We don't need Scorsese, but I don't want a shaky phone cam, all right? Work with me. Post that video up. Tag at the Rich Drew, tag at the Rob Drew, tag at the Ride Series. Lastly, tag MRP. And you know what, for this one, tag Jason Blodgett. Why not? He added a lot to this, so we appreciate it. So that's it. Um, we're going to head out. We're going to go get an Onyx shake, maybe get some food, and we're going to wait to see those videos.